please drop it in the comments. And I want to just give Melissa a moment of um, love and adornment and so much gratitude for being here. Melissa is somebody that I met through Success Champion Networking, which is a networking group that I'm a part of and I run the Atlanta chapter. And I fell in love with her, I think, love at first sight. <laughs> That's probably an understatement. We just hit it off, and I consider you a dear friend, and I'm so honored that you're here in this space with us. I know um, from personal experience just seeing you on stage at the Badass Business Summit and being in so many intimate conversations with you that you are a master of your craft. And I love that you keep it fun, which is a part of my brand, which is simplifying life, keeping it fun, savoring life. And I see you doing all the things. You're a badass mom. You're a <laughs> wife. You're an entrepreneur. You're building an empire. And I know your big vision. So mm -hmm. I'm one of your top fans. Oh, I hope you know that. You and um, so anyways, on that note, I want to just turn it over to you, but I would love if you can just let our audience know a little bit too about how you got into doing this and stepping into your own entrepreneurship because so many of um, my followers are still doing the nine to five yeah. and maybe a side hustle and want to get out mm -hmm. and are kind of doing the limbo in between wearing all the hats. So. Mm -hmm. Um, anything that you want to share? And then I know you've got some beautiful things in store for us with your top three ways to create a unique brand. So the floor is yours. Just Thank you. Well, definitely, I, I want to keep this real um, casual. So if so, as I go through, if there's something that you want clarity around or, you know, you want to pop in and say something that that's uh, aligns with it, like, please you know, don't think this is formal because it's not. <laughs> okay, I mean, cool. It's like, thank you. It's me. So, hey. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So, and first, I also want to say I love you too, Jen. <laughs> I mean, you are amazing. I've, I've just, I've never met anyone like you. And I just think your energy is just stellar. So I wanted to make sure I said that first. And thank you so much for bringing me on today. Um, so your question, how, how did I get here? So the thing is, is that I totally can understand when you are, when like for your audience, those of you who are um, trying to figure out what you want to do, trying to figure out when is the right, maybe the right time to actually like cut ties and go full time in your business, that kind of thing, or even just to do something that you've always wanted to do, but felt like you were kind of held back. Um, a little bit personal about me. Um, I spent actually uh, like 20 years, I'll say maybe more, maybe it's been closer to 25, 25 years in the corporate world. Um, doing things that like I was a CPA, I still am. Um, but I was doing things that like really didn't, you know, I, they didn't light me up. Let's just put it that way. Like I was good at it because I studied and I just did the work, but I didn't love it. And I had always had this passion for photography ever since I was a child. Um, but you know, my, the back of my head, I was always telling myself, well, you know, nobody really makes a good living as a photographer, you know, back when I was a photographer when I was young, like most of the photographers that were famous were men. There were a few women, but mostly men. Um, and so I just sort of talked myself out of that and just kept going. And it wasn't until um, the moment when, you know, the universe pushed me into this job where I was, I was working at a company, they put me on this project and it was like a perfect storm of like immense proportions. Like we, like I didn't have the right staff. I was uh, the, the environment was toxic. There was just all kinds of stuff going on. And I found myself like working until three in the morning. And my, my five-year-old at the time was like, um, you know, crying because I was at home and all these things. And so I just, I just feel like what had happened was I got pushed into this, pushed into this position so that I could finally realize it was time. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes we don't change what we do because the pain of being in the situation seems more comfortable to us than the pain of putting ourselves out there or the, or the perceived pain of putting ourselves out there. Or the unknown, uh, right? Like the unknown, unknown is scary for a lot of people. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. And so I, what I want to say is that, you know, there's, it's not until you do that, that you really realize how 
how much is possible for you. You can't see the possibilities until you cut the cord. It's just what it is. And, and isn't then, that yes. so much greater than you could ever imagine? Yes. Like I was yeah. in petroleum business for God's sake. Like this is so oh much God. more fun. That's so much right. more fun. <laughs> like, yes. Right? Yes. So. And I, you get like, look, it's going to be, there's never, it's not always like a easy path. It's not always like, you know, I'm going to do it. And suddenly it's like all rainbows and roses. No, but you, every single day when you get up and do the things that are going to take you down that, that road and get you to like that much farther along, it's, it's way more fantastic. Even the, even the bad stuff is yeah. way more fantastic than sitting behind a cubicle or in a cubicle and having someone yell at you. Cause that's what was going on in my, my world, you know? Right. And so it's like, no, 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 I'll never go back there ever again. And yeah. I'm so happy. So well, it's the freedom. Yeah. It's freedom. And for me, so much of entrepreneurship is freedom to do things, but it's also freedom from doing things. And we yes. get to play um, play this game of life with our own rules. Mm -hmm. And that feels so expansive to me. It is, 100%. And I think the other thing to, to consider too is that it's really all mindset. It's mm -hmm. all mindset. It's like, um, you know, the, there's a leadership program I was in and what they said was, um, you know, everything is intention. The mechanics of things don't really matter. Yes, they do, because there has to be a way, but it's 100% intention is, is what will get you where you want to go. You know, I agree wholeheartedly with that. Yes. <laughs> wholeheartedly. So I love your work. And um, I've had experience with lots of photographers from my old life being in dance and entertainment. And some of them were incredible experiences and some of them were not. Mm. The thing that stands out to me so much about your work that I fell in love with is that your photos tell a story. Mm. And I feel like I know the subject that you're photographing, the beautiful women, the people that you're working with, without ever having a conversation with them, I already know their brand. It is the best of the best. Like I feel like I'm in their lives. And to me, that's an art Like you have mastered that art of your craft because not every photographer can pull that out and make that happen. Um, so anyways, I'm so excited to see what you have to share today because I always yeah. learn from you. I always take it and plant those seeds and I'm so super excited about this. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Well, let me, let me get started here. And like I said, this is, is really going to be kind of, um, casual. So definitely jump in when something actually, uh, comes up. Okay. Sure. Cool. 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 All right. So you kind of know about me. Um, I'm founder of Melissa Dimple photography and personal brandography, which is a, uh, new brand that I'm launching this year. Um, and I can talk a little bit about that in, in a little bit, but let's kind of move forward. Um, can I actually do this? That is the question. Here we are. So you've, Jen, you've probably seen this before, but I, a lot of people believe that their brand, or in this case, their personal brand, um, is like their, what they choose for their logo, like how they create their logo or like what fonts do they use when they create copy? Um, what's their colors, you know, uh, graphics, you know, their website, all of this stuff, most of which is visual in nature. And so most people think that that's what their brand is. Um, but it's really, that's the secondary level of branding. So what we call that in the branding space is brand identity. And you don't get to create all of this stuff until you know the foundation of what your brand really is. The foundational elements, a lot of people who start a business they're all psyched because they want to go ahead and get that website done. And, you know, they want to put themselves out there. And I'm not saying don't do that. What I'm saying is go ahead and get all that stuff started. And then as you go, do the work of figuring out what the foundation really is for you. And it's going to change over time. There's no doubt my brand has changed in the, in the four years I've been doing branding specifically, my brand has changed. Um, I started off not really kind of knowing where, like who I wanted to serve and all the things. I didn't even know like really what my offers were, all of the things, but I, I dove in, I did create a website, uh, but I knew that my brand wasn't my website. It was just reflective of what was happening at that moment, right? And so I did have a bit of a foundation because I 
already kind of knew what branding was going into it a little bit anyway. Um, but over the course of time, I've learned some, some things around this that I want to share. So um, what is your brand? These are foundational elements. There's more to it than this, but I feel like these are the areas people should be focused on as they're sort of uh, having that journey, going through their um, their business on a daily basis. Be thinking, I mean, not thinking daily, but definitely sit down and think about why are you doing what you're doing? There's an internal and very deep why for most people when they start a business. I think that most people, particularly those in your circle, they're going to have a big why. It's not going to be, I just want to make money. I'm going to caveat off that too to say, you should be making money. Doing Thank what you're you. Doing. Thank you for saying that because I want money in the hands of conscious minded women. It's so important. Absolutely. And, and, and the reason for making money is not just to serve yourself and your family, but to serve the bigger purpose. And that's the why. So figure out the why that's so important. Um, your values. What are those? We, we talked a little bit with Hildy when we started here about values. Mm -hmm. um, what are those core values? And if you don't know what they are, I mean, everyone has like, I would say, an, uh, sort of a understanding of it, but like spend some time figuring that out. What's the deepest values you have? Like, and if they're hard to figure out, like maybe you have a lot of them, like turn it on its head and figure out what your deal breakers are. So yes. what would it be like, you know, if somebody came in here and, you know, I don't know, said um, they like if somebody called me and wanted to uh, wanted to see about me helping them with their brand and I can tell that they're very negative and they maybe talk badly about other people or put people down or something, I'd be like, that's about like, that's a no deal breaker for me. I'm not going there. Right. So know that stuff. It's so important. Um, your mission, where are you headed? What's this big thing that you intend to do? What's, why are you like, not the why that you want to like do your business for, but really who, who do you want to impact? What's the big, big thing that you see happening and your vision um, is how you're going to get there. So it's more about like, how do you see yourself in that, in that mission? Do and you know, I, like, I love that because the mission and the vision is what got me to where I am as far as teaching, understanding and embodying wealth consciousness mm -hmm. and being okay with that. Yes, we need money. We need resources because if I don't do these things and help women do those things, they're never going to get to the big vision because the big vision usually needs resources. Absolutely. And a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to, to say, I want to be rich so I can make this shit happen because that's what really needs to happen in your mindset. Right. So true. Yes. And so some of the other things um, that we always talk a lot about in branding and people get sort of, Oh, when you talk about your ideal client and the problem you solve and all that stuff and why you're unique. Um, I'm sorry, but you got to do the work. <laughs> and do. I think that's a hard part for people. I think that's why there is a natural, um, I don't want to niche down. It feels limiting or restrictive. But the yep. thing is, it's, for me, it was ever changing. And the more that I go within myself, the more it comes very secure. But it goes down to those values. And who I want to work with have to be able to align with that. And that helps me know who my ideal client is. Yeah. You see, it's all tied together. So it all integrates, right? hundred yeah, percent. This is, it, it's so interesting because I've, I've been working and just, just as an aside, like this is what I was going to introduce a little bit later on, but you know, I've, I've been coaching people now on their brand. So we're, we're, we're kind of branching out from, um, from being in that brand identity space only like meaning creating the visuals after somebody's doing that. I just found that so many people were coming to me, not really kind of knowing some of this stuff. They mm -hmm. might know some, but not, not everything. And so I found that it was actually a little harder for me to create some of the visuals for them that would really be in alignment without knowing what I was aligning to. Yes. So we created now a, a coaching program that's, that's, we're taking people through this process. So, but it's really cool. And the reason I bring that up is that what is so cool about this is I'm seeing how people are going, oh my God, this is all connected. It's like one big puzzle. 
everything is connected. Yeah. yeah. And it's like we conveniently push away some of the puzzle pieces and then don't understand why the picture what? doesn't make sense. Yes. And it's like, yeah, you need those pieces. You need the pieces. And, and I love the puzzle analogy because don't you get like excited when you're, I mean, if you're a puzzle person, like I am, like I love jigsaw puzzles. So I'll get lost in them because I'm so excited about seeing the end. I'm so excited about, oh my gosh, that, pi that piece just fits perfectly. So so that's what this is about. And I do think you get excited when you start doing this with someone um, and you can see how it's all just kind of getting pulled together. So um, with that, I want to kind of go a little bit. Oh, let me not not to uh, ignore this bottom part where all of the above here, when you're talking about personal branding, this starts to create a reputation for you. Yes. Um, and you, the cool thing about all of this is when you start really like, being intentional about it, now you get to guide your reputation. You don't get to just, it's not just about somebody, like you're putting stuff out there, you're not really sure. And some people think you're about this and some people think you're about that. No, you actually get to guide people's perceptions of you. And that's powerful. It's so powerful. Yeah. So let's see what's next here. So um, yes, the top three ways to create brand images. Let's talk about that. Um, so I pulled out, there's a multiple ways that when I, when I work with clients, um, that I create images, meaning how I come up with image ideas, right? How I tell the story, like we talked about earlier. And, uh, there's multiple ways to do that. I kind of have a system now that I, that I have with, which is like, uh, if I created, that's like, you know, there's several pillars involved in that system, but I kind of pulled out what I thought was really sort of the biggest bang for the buck for people if they've not really kind of gone through everything up to that point with me. Um, the number one thing is emotion. Mm. We, you know this, emotion, it drives everything. And I don't care how logical a person you might be, every, every decision that you make to, like when it comes to buying decisions and everything else really in life, it comes down to an emotion that happens and it's subconscious. Um, your emotions, like it does start with a thought, right? Your thoughts become your emotions, which then become your actions, which then become your reality, right? So taking that from the perspective of a visual, you want people to have an emotion when they see it. Mm -hmm. You want people to have an emotion when they read your copy as well, right? When they come to your website, any of that. So you have to really get into what are the emotions that people, you want people to have what are the emotions they've had, they have before they actually work with you is actually a cool place to start too, because you can actually use that imagery to kind of jolt people, um, you know, to like get them to see like, oh my gosh, I, what's that image about? That looks, that's interesting. Like, why is that person sad? Or why is that person angry? Or, you know, whatever. So, right. so using the emotions pre-working with you and after working with you are great places to actually start thinking about imagery. Um, and I will, I'm going to show just a quick like case study in a minute to kind of point out what that looks like visually, but just think about it. Like, what are the emotions? If you, if you want someone to um, ultimately work with you and feel like a badass at the end, what's that look like? And what's that look like for you? What comes yeah. up to mind in your, in your, um, in your brain? Cause we're all visual people, even if we don't think we are, there's a picture that happens there. So what does that look like for Jen? You know? Are you like holding, like, I don't know, what are you doing? But let's, let's just do that. Let's do that with you. So what, what, what comes up for you when you think about you're on fire, like you're like, that's your wildfire, yeah, right? It's that, it's that celebration. It's that expansion that's um, realizing that they can simplify life and still have everything that they've ever wanted. It doesn't have to be hard. And mm -hmm. that, that kind of feeling, being at peace, being in harmony, but also just being playful about life, savoring life. Yes. And so can you see yourself in a, in a location or a place where you're feeling playful, you're feeling alive? What does that look like for you? You specifically? Shoot, let's go to Tahiti. All right. <laughs> like, honestly, so I see myself like, so for me, part of my core values is giving women freedom, freedom to do things, freedom from doing things. And part of that is freedom of location. So yes. like I'm saying it jokingly, but I'm also like, yeah, I want to be in Tahiti with my bare feet and my kid playing on the beach 
and me serving my clients. Yes. So maybe it's you running down the beach with your kid, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe it's you swinging them into the waves. I mean, it's like, you know, it, it, it has to be the emotion that that's going to come across in the visual, but also a little bit more like the emotion that they can see that's tied to you Mm -hmm. so that they make that subconscious, um, connection. Okay. Um, the second piece of this is personality. So when I say personality, that can be kind of intertwined with personal life as well. But what we're looking at is why, why are you unique, right? You're, you're unique because there's only one you in the entire, you know, universe. So why not show who you are personally? Um, You can do that in various ways. You can show a little bit of your personal life. um, But I think more along the lines of what makes you tick. So maybe it's, um, you know, part of your personality is that you really love hanging out with your friends and you just laugh and joke and have an awesome time with them. Maybe it's, uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm a little bit more of a homebody, but I love to like, I just said that I'm not a homebody really, but when I, when I feel like being like that, then the jigsaw puzzle would be just a perfect uh, example of my personality when I'm feeling kind of lazy and want to stay home. You know, what, what are those aspects of who you are? How do we show them visually? Um, there's lots of, lots of ways to do that too. And it's, and it's, uh, it's just also by way of how does it feel to work with you? Maybe, you know, when you're working with someone, you're, you know, really free and open, or maybe you're the type of person where you're just a calming influence and you can, you can kind of start to visualize what would that look like if I was sitting here working with a client, if they were physically with me, how would that look like? You know, what would, what would the props be that I would have in, in the frame with me and how would I be interacting with them? Would we be laughing? Would we be like meditating? What would we be doing? All right. We'd be having fun Um, for sure. And having fun. Sure. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So like I'm an activator. So that's part of the wildfire, right? It's that fiery, yeah. bold, um, action taking kind of like a, a warrior spirit, but not warrior in the hard sense. It's also yeah. somebody who is um, their own damn hero, right? Like I'm living life my way. And so part of my personality is I'm a foodie, yes. right? And so Love savoring it. life is a huge part of my brand. But savoring mm-hmm. good eats is a part of who I am too. And yes. simplifying that with motherhood and running a business and everything is all interconnected, like, but keeping it mm-hmm. easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe it's showing images of you making a really awesome dinner that you're just, and then eating it. <laughs> I mean, why not? Right. Big bites. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Our, you know, I'm saving <laughs> this, but it's so good. Um, so like the third, the third, like of, of my top three would, um, would definitely be concepts in your content. I think this is where people have a little bit more of a tricky, like this is more tricky for them. Um, so this is kind of does require knowing what kinds of themes or concepts that you might talk about when you're, when you're being visible, when you're in social media, when you are sending out newsletters, what are those topics that we talk about? So, um, like, for example, let's see, if you talk about, let's say you do talk about financial freedom, right? And you, that's a very big pillar of what you do. Then let's think about what does financial freedom look like when you are financially free? I mean, you can go to the, the to like the obvious where you can have like, you know, dollar bills or whatever. And that's, right. that's fun. Okay. And that's, that's definitely doable. And I've done that with my clients. And I also want to push a little harder on that. So let me give an example. Um, I, this is not freedom tied, but it, but one of my clients said to me that she, um, she talks about luxury, right? Mm -hmm. So luxury is a concept for her. That's, that's, that's something that she, um, is like believes in and talks about and everything else. And I, and my first, when I think of luxury, I'm thinking of like, you know, like really nice cars and, you know, being on a yacht or something like that, just sort of like pops like that's luxury, right? Or maybe it's just like getting massages every week. I don't know. But like those, those kinds of things come up for me. And I asked her, well, what does luxury look like to you? And she said, this is where the connection is. She said, freedom, luxury looks like freedom to me. I want freedom feels luxurious. 
to me as okay. well. So it's freedom of choice. And again, like for me, the financial freedom and freedom in general is freedom to do things and freedom from doing things. Yes. But me getting a VA was total freedom for me. Yay! Like Tara, if you're watching, I love you so much. Yes. <laughs> like freedom. I mean, me having my magical cooking machine is 100% freedom because it's cooking and cleaning up after itself while I do you know, my Zoom calls or yeah. play with my son or whatever it may be. And, mm -hmm. but then freedom for me is always like really nice satin sheets or you know, <laughs> yeah, nice. this weekend with my husband with, you know, totally unplugged or whatever it may be. But, and I think it's a, I think that in itself is a personal choice for everybody. So it comes down to like choice, like having the freedom to choose what you want to do, how you want to do it and when you want to do it. Right. And see, it's got to be in, these things have to be in alignment with those underlying foundational principles of your brand. And right. then that, that becomes a very unique image for you because it's all inside of you coming out. Right. And that visual comes out that way. So, so that's kind of, it's, I believe this is kind of an art and a science kind of tied together. Um, but you know, I, I, these are what I would would definitely say are the top three things to consider. And so kind of want to show you a little bit about just a very quick case study. This is a client of mine, Ashley Bernardi. She is a PR expert. She actually is also an author um, and she helps other authors get, you know, get known through media placements. But she's also just like, she launched her own book and it's about self-healing. So she's got a personal brand and a business brand, okay? And so, and I think you probably have seen these images, Jen, but, yeah. um, and by the way, I'm moving my little, my little zoom square around. I hope I'm not actually covering over any of the presentation when I do that. No, it all looks oh. great. Cool, oh, cool, cool. All right. So what does it feel like to work with Ashley? So these are emotions, right? So you can kind of see like what Ashley really wants is at the end of the day, she wants people to feel like so excited that their dreams are becoming a reality. So everything is like, very upbeat and colorful. She's a very colorful person. So you can see that orange coming out. Like that's like the perfect mm -hmm. backdrop for her and this party idea. Um, down there in the, in the bottom middle, she actually does help uh, entrepreneurs that don't have any idea about how to be on television. Like she does, she does interviews with them so that they can get familiar and confident about getting in front of the camera. So that's what that whole thing is. So you can kind of see, all right, this person, you know, she's, she's a new, she's new to television and look at how she's starting to feel relaxed about being in front of that camera. So there's an emotion there. Um, and then at the end of the day here on the right uh, side, this is actually another client of hers who um, she is getting media, like placed on media television specifically. Um, and so they're looking at a calendar together to, to figure out what's like the next step and that kind of thing. But you can see, this is so exciting for me. I can't believe I'm getting on television. So the, and they're all very much aligned with what she's doing. So hopefully that kind of makes or gives you some ideas. Um, this next one is about personal life. I so, fell in love with these when you showed these yeah. on your main page. I fell in love with them. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's the whole thing is like, what's so important to Ashley? Like it's her family. I mean, she's got three young kids and that, that they are her first primary, you know, priority. And like, she started her business because of those girls. Right. She and for me, it makes her relatable to me as a mom. Right. Exactly. There's the connection point. Right. So that's, so that's in alignment with who's her ideal client. You know, these are other parents who are going to feel the same as her. So that's the point behind all of these things. Um, that what's really cool about the ones on the top are they actually have this beautiful home out, like almost in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of, you know, it's not too far away, but it's like far enough for me coming from DC. So, um, so she's out there in the boonies a little bit, but her, um, whole yard is just beautiful. They've got a vegetable garden. They've got these blueberry bushes. And at the time the blueberries were in season. And so the girls went out and picked just boatloads of blueberries you can see there. And then they made a shake with the blueberries. So that's the bottom picture. So it all kind of ties together there kind of a nice set of the story there. And then the final thing for her, when we talked about concept images, um, these all by themselves, you might be going, what the heck does that mean, right? So the one on the left, Ashley's book is about um, self-healing. So from trauma, 
Uh, she had two very traumatic experiences in her life. And so that's what the book is about and how she healed herself from those things. One was a personal trauma and another one was um, a death in the family. Her, her father died when she was young and she experienced all of that. So uh, that mask is one of the concepts in her book. So it's like taking off the mask. You don't have to be like this anymore. You don't have to kind of hide it or hide from things. The middle one is more related to her PR business, but that's a message in the bottle concept where we talked about, you know, you need to take that message out of the bottle and, and, you know, show it to the world. Like, let's get your message out there. And that's what her whole PR uh, business is about. And then the one in the far right is about the four pillars or four concepts that her book talks about. So when she's out there talking about her book, she can use that, that for that purpose. So it, I mean, is that like, like an amazing image? Maybe not, but really it does get people to stop because they're like, what's the, what's for about? Right. It makes me you like ask, a- it's a conversation piece. Cause that's what my yeah. eyes keep going to that one going for what? For like- what? Yeah, exactly. oh, tell me. <laughs> yes, yes. So hopefully that that helps. And I think at this point, like I feel like people, if you're if you're listening um, to this later, you know, sit down and think about this. Do some brainstorming around all three of these concepts and see what you come up with. And if you have any questions, like definitely reach out to me. I'm going to show um, in here in just a second a way to get a hold of me. But um, I think that if you if you just start with those three, you're going to have images in social media they're going to far like far outweigh some of the other stuff people are posting when it's literally just selfies um this stuff may this stuff works man it works <laughs> and people will be engaged with with something that's actually more tied to who you are and what your brand is and you know all of the the elements that make up that brand foundation so um let's see so and oh by the way when you're doing this definitely stay authentic to you focus on connecting with your ideal client and just just show up just do it <laughs> show up that part's really important yes okay just show up <laughs> so this last slide is me being goofy and also show looking up at the two brands that i have now so i have um melissa dimple photography has been my brand since like i started um and i've created this year and i'm rolling it out um this year Personal Brandography is my new business, and that business is going to house Melissa Dimple Photography because it's also going to include the coaching that I talked about earlier. So we're creating uh, like an entire, um, I I would even sort of almost, I don't even want to say this word, actually, I was going to say a brand agency, but really what we're doing is we're creating uh, people's brand foundations. We're going to be providing them to with, once they get through that program, providing them with like resources and guidance and everything on how they're going to get the visuals done for them after that program's over. So I've got people who are copywriters, um, graphic designers, web designers, um, videographers, you know, social media, all of that. It's all going to be, you know, kind of like a soup to nuts, um, you know, situation for, you know, business owners who are either just starting out or have been doing this for one or two years. And then they're like, like, I don't feel like everything's in its place. And then that's like a good place to start looking at those foundational elements again. I love that you're doing this. <laughs> uh, I'm celebrating you from the sidelines over here in Atlanta. And Thank for you. me, having my time with you, I just want to encourage anybody to just like explore these options and, and what you have going on, because it is like pure magic. You Thank are you. just so gifted at what you do. And me being able to get little snippets of kind of knowing behind the scenes where your big vision (laughs) is going. Like I am like, yes, like so happy about that. And, um, and happy for everybody that gets to work with you because I know it's going to be life-changing for them as well. Thank you, Jen. I really appreciate it. And I know what you're doing is, is amazing for your group too. So I'm uh, all over here, like just cheering you on too. I'm like, I cannot wait to see what you create this year. Oh my gosh, my whiteboard. (laughs) And yours too, I know. So um, I, if you guys are watching the replay, please drop it in and ask your questions and I'll check back later and make sure that I can connect you with Melissa. I'll be uploading this to my YouTube channel. 
jenpisano.com um, and all of the places so that you can go back and rewatch and soak up all of this information. But please get in Melissa's world, follow her. She has a contest coming up. I'll be sharing that later yeah. on in the month. If you want to mention okay. that, feel free to. Yeah, actually, Jen, you, you can you can do that. I Just to tell people, it's actually a really cool giveaway that I'm doing. Um, that's going to get you set up for a full year of a um, content uh, creating and posting tool, scheduling and posting tool. Um, and it's amazing. I use it. I love it. And this prize is, I'm not going to reveal it quite yet, but the prize is like $350. That's the value of it. So um, totally gets you set up for the year. So I would definitely check that out when Jen shares it. Cool. So thank you guys for being here and love you. See you. Bye. Thank you. And if you want to stop recording. Okay. There we go.